Hey there, everybody. How's it going? It's Bronson from Fred's RV here in Southerton, Pennsylvania. Got another exciting video for you here today. As you can see, I've got a Jayco Red Hawk 24B behind me here. One of Jayco's best selling uh, Class C RVs in the Red Hawk lineup. Take you around the outside, inside, see if this might be the coach for you. Let's get started. All right, everybody. So, getting started on the outside of the Jayco Red Hawk 24B here, you can see we are on the Ford E450 chassis. This has the latest updates with the new 7.3 liter V8 engine, 350 horsepower, about 468 pound feet of torque. So, lots of power to get this 26 foot, 8 inch motorhome moving down the road for you. At that length, it's great because you're not really limited on where you can travel, where you can park. Where you can go it's a nice comfortable drive because it has a j rides j plus system with the computer mounted uh balanced drive shaft the helwig's helper springs and um, they do quite a few suspension upgrades here to give you an overall better driving experience but as we come along the outside here you can see you've got the seamless one piece fiberglass front cap which is great you're not going to have any seals running around the front or anything for any leaks going to prevent that stuff there's a tpo roof on the top you'll find an air conditioner up there your antenna your king antenna a couple vents and such on the roof as well. You can also get an optional solar panel if you like. Continuing on the uh, driver's side here, you got the frameless windows. They're tinted windows, great for your overall privacy and climate control. I want you to get up closer here so you can see what else we're working with. Nice power awning. There's gonna be an LED strip that runs across underneath there for you. Uh, come along the outside. You do have some options for exterior storage, but so I'll open some of these up so you can see. You'll find your under here, you've got your 41 pound propane tank. Got a couple speakers, one here, one towards the back. They're nice and low, which is nice. So if you're sitting down out here, you've got the speakers coming directly to you as opposed to being up high and kind of blasting whatever you're playing to everybody else. Keep coming across here. You'll find a lockable storage bin right here. That's gonna be your furnace exhaust, your hot water heater, your fridge ventilation. Keep coming back here some more. You'll find you do have some more, a little bit of storage area right under here and coming back further another storage bin with your low point drains coming back towards red hawk here you do have a mounted ladder which comes standard which is great so you can get up onto your roof if you have anything that ever gets stuck up there any branches twigs you can climb up there take them off it's good for your overall uh, maintenance checking your seals and such cleaning off your solar panel if you get one this does have a uh, backup camera mounted on the back there's also side mounted cameras as well uh, which I will be sure to show you here in a bit. There's a hitch receiver set up for towing, seven-way plug. You got the wiring back here as well. Now, this model does have a slide-out, which is great because being at this length, this is a nice deep slide-out. It's got the slide topper on top to prevent anything from getting on top of the slide-out. So this slide-out is going to help you to have a lot more space on the inside. Coming around, you've got a black tank flush for cleaning out that black coating tank, city water connection, outdoor shower, which is great for cleaning anything off rinsing off outside and then over here you'll find your biggest storage compartment bin right here which is really nice again for anything extra that you want to bring along down below that you've got your dumping for your uh your gray and your black holding tank you can see here this one actually has the leveling system that is an uh optional feature on here so you'll find that you can hit a switch and you'll be able to bring that leveling system down and down under here you'll just find kind of your 30 amp hookup your 4000 watt generator spot for your other goodies to go right along underneath here. That generator, you will be able to run everything, all the appliances, your air conditioner off of it. I do want you to see also, there's gonna be those side mounted cameras right here so that when you indicate left or right, it will pop up onto your screen and you can see what's going on next to you so that you can safely switch over to the other lane. So there you can see that seamless fiberglass, one piece front cap, all vacuum bonded walls, floor roof tons and tons of pressure that are holding these walls together screen door on your main entry door as you open this you've got a step that'll automatically come out for you stepping up into your 24b again huge open floor space here i'll be sure to put up a picture that you can see what the slide out looks like when it's closed in so that you can see what kind of space you have this mattress will flip up but you'll still have a walkway to access all your galley area your bathroom some storage over here in your dinette as well. Give you the overall look here. So let's get started at the front when you walk in. You'll find up above a little storage cabinetry. You've got the beautiful modern farmhouse cabinetry color. Uh, this color is great because it you know keeps it light and airy, uh, makes it feel more open in here as opposed to having darker colors. 
All of your main switches will be right here for your generator, your slide out control, check your tank levels. You do have onboard 12 volt uh, tank heater pads on your holding tanks, so chillier day, you'll be able to fire that on. Your water pump switch and your water heater is gas or electric. Down below here, you'll find a couple switches for your awning, your lights, your battery disconnect. There is gonna be your automatic leveling system control right there. Coming to your galley area, dual stainless steel sink, which is nice. You can have two separate areas. Cannot forget your pop-up charging station as well, or plugging in your appliances right into here. Windows will have your drop-down black shades, and also for your galley area, some overhead cabinetry with some really nice solid cabinetry as well, which is all put together at Jayco. Nice big microwave here storage above that and as you come back you got a three burner cooktop they still keep the oven plenty of drawers scattered down below there and this one has the gas electric fridge on board so separate freezer fridge down below that lots and lots of fridge and freezer space on here you got a great size bathroom as you come into here the toilet with the foot flush it's got its own sink medicine cabinet storage down below that good size shower with the sliding door Lights, fan in here, and a nice window as well. And for the bedroom area, you're going to have climate control back here for it. You got a slide out switch, light switch, spot to mount the TV up here if you like. What's nice about this bedroom area is the tons of closet space that you have here. So you can see here, there's going to be a the table leg for your uh, U-shaped dinette, some pillows. There's, there's actually a telescopic ladder back there for you. And then down below this, lots of drawer storage. You got four different drawers under here. And then when you have your bed out, there's a little storage above that. You got night lights, daytime light, a few windows to be able to open up. Let some uh, let some light in. Put some accent lighting all along this. Red Hawk, the walls here, even underneath the sink. Just a nice look and finish here. Nice and modern. I think the storage was done there. We are not nice deep storage. On this side of the bed, these are pull-out drawers here. You'll be able to pull out all these and put your things in and slide them away. And then a couple more drawers down below. And we're still not done. Next to that, and even above your dinette. So this is a U-shaped dinette. You can see right now it's in the bed position. So if you're bringing four people along, lots of space. You can sit around, have an extra sleeping space here, the table leg would go there you'd be able to sit up and have your dinette there are a couple seat belts on here so that you can safely and legally bring your extra passengers along with you you got a nice size window here so if you have a nice view on the one side of where you're staying you'll be able to take full advantage of that and if you're all hanging out you of course have the tv over here that you can swing out uh kind of face the tv wherever you would like and the majority of the reason why some folks might want a class c is because you have the extra sleeping space above your cab so there is some storage netting back over there you'll be able to flip this over you can easily sleep two up here so that you can have your extra sleeping space for the friends the family the kids storage if you even need the storage up here you'll be able to uh use that space like so and then down the front chassis these do have swivel seats what's nice is they do give you the two booster seats here you can put those seats onto the seats so that when you turn around, your knees aren't cramped up against you. You'll be able to turn these seats around, join the party that's over here. Um, you know, enjoy, play some games, do whichever, kind of have everyone facing the same general area. And uh, like I said, with this being the updated chassis, you've got the nice uh, Sony touchscreen. Uh, you got the Android Auto, the Apple CarPlay. You can sync your phones right up to that, which is nice and convenient. You know, if you have the GPS running on your phone, be able to pull it right up into there. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, nice big mirrors, cameras built into the side that will pop right up onto your screen. Pretty simple up here, which is nice. Uh, no crazy fanciness or anything like that. So again, one of the most popular Class C's for Jayco and their Red Hawk lineup, the uh, Jayco Red Hawk 24B here at Fretz RV of Satterton, Pennsylvania. Going to be having some more uh, Class C vans coming in here shortly with uh, the chassis not being so much of an issue to get anymore. So uh, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to keep up with the further content. 
you can see out my lot here i got lots more vans i got some b vans some uh some class a's rolling in some travel trailers fifth wheels you name it if they're out and available for me to be able to uh to shoot i'm gonna get a walkthrough of them we've got a show coming up here soon allentown pennsylvania rv show for any folks in the area want to come check out a few a uh, few models be sure to stop by thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one